I laid my life. Did no man take my life? I laid it down for my friend. Hallelujah. He said, I don't call you no servant. I call you my friend. That's how much he loved us. And he is being a perfect example. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going through this. I'm, I'm going through that. Why are you going through this? But the scripture tells us our days are few upon this earth. But he said, many trials and tribulations we're going to have. Am I right? So why are we going to add to it? Some things we know we ought not to be fooling with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then when we go through something, we want to call on him. You should have called on him before you went. Am I right? Now you want to fix the situation. He fixed it before. He told you not to go. Hallelujah. We, 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 see, we talking about love here. We talking about his ways, not ours. Because see, his ways is the right way. His way is love. Hallelujah. Might have some husbands and some wives upset after they boyfriends and girlfriends upset. It doesn't matter. I'd rather for you to be upset and change than you be continuing your sin and go to hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is real, sisters and brothers. Yes, it is. Hell is real. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you want to go to hell, thank you, Sister Wheat. Go by yourself. First class, up Brother Rose. Because the scripture says the soul that sinned. If you continue in your sins, you will die. Hallelujah. See, sisters and brothers, we, we, we around here looking for a solution to the problem that we create. Hallelujah. You heard what I say? That we create. Hallelujah. Now, if we had listened to the scripture in the beginning, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in. Hallelujah. But since you are in the situation that you're in, we still got a solution for it. What is it, Brother William? Brother Blackwell? I'm glad you asked. Come out of it. Simple, Brother William. Come out of it. You, 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 we, we say we want, we want this so bad. Pray for me. Why would I pray for you when you still have the same mind to go back in that mess? See, you're only fooling yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, if you want to come out of a situation, all you got to do is come out. We got higher power in order for us to make it out. Hallelujah. But he told us to submit ourselves unto the higher power. Am I right? And he said, the devil will do what? Flee from you. But we don't want to submit to the right thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't want to submit to what's right. That's the problem. You the problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we can say that we want things, Brother Williams, out of our mouth. But here go again, our ways, huh? Our ways. Hallelujah. I like a person talking about, oh, I want this. I want a new car. I want that. Oh, you do. You got a lot of wants. But not they have a job. Hallelujah. I want mom and dad to give it to me. 
Okay, keep walking. Mom and dad will be an example unto you. Hallelujah. All right. And the scripture tells us we got to work right. if we want to eat. Right. Now see, back then, when that scripture said, if a man don't work, he don't eat. Am I right? Yeah. You ain't have Walmart. You ain't have Rouse's. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly. No food stamps. Huh? Win Dixie. You ain't have none of that. If you didn't get out there and till that ground, you won't eat. And you go try to steal from somebody, they're going to put a spear in you. Do you understand? Because man is going to protect his good. Man is going to protect his family. You got to say, brother, wait a A man. Because a lot of things we see today ain't no man. Hallelujah. See, a man... I'm talking about a real man. Am I right? I hear you out there, sister. See, a man gonna take care of his own. Hallelujah. He's not gonna send that lady out there to work. He gonna go out there and work. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. See, People try to use the scripture, men, for their own personal gain, brother. Yeah, right, right. The Bible says, I'm the man of the house. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. That's what the scripture says. But you got to know who he's talking to. Yeah. He ain't talking about that sinner man. Yeah. Remember. Hallelujah. He's talking to the ones that have given their life unto him. Right. Yeah. Am I right? right. See, so he's not going to expect a sinner man to follow him. Yeah. Why? Because he ain't in his family. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Now, those that are in his family, those are the men that he's talking to. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you find sinners want to use the scripture for their own personal gain. I'm the man of the house. No, you ain't nothing. Hallelujah. If you ain't a child of the most high. He's not even looking at you. But those that he have called unto his family, he say, now men, I'm going to direct you. I'm going to school you. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you. Direct you into the way that you ought to go. Now see, that, 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 that lady that you have, it's your spouse. You got to love. You got to give your life on the hook. Do you understand? But what you mean? Just what he said. I work and it's my money. Hold up. It ain't none of that I, me, my stuff anymore. Hallelujah. When a man get mad, what the scripture say when that man get mad? He got to leave what? Father and his mother, huh? Yeah. Cleave to, to who? His wife. His wife. Now his wife become his mama now. There you go. Uh, his wife got to take care of him now. But you got to be an example first. Hallelujah. Now that's what the scripture telling us. Hmm. Right now, those women are tuned in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At first, I didn't hear their voice. Huh? I didn't hear their voice. But now I'm talking about this man. This spiritual man. For a spiritual woman. Hallelujah. A woman that's been taught knows how to take care of her husband. And our children. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, looking, I'm talking about a man knows how to treat his wife and his children. Am I right? Yes, sir. Not the way the world teaches. No, Coming home and she haven't cooked, you mad? <laughs> she ain't done this, you mad? You ready to fight? Hallelujah. 
woman walking around with a black eye talking about she fell. How you get a black eye and you fail? Huh? Now, nowhere you find in the scripture where a man beat his wife. Hmm? Be angry? But we got some situation now where women beat men up. And that's not right. Now, if you love someone, you're not going to treat them bad. That love and kindness again. And I'm, I'm getting ready to sit down. But I know y'all are getting bored. I don't want to hear no more of that. I'm talking to those that don't want to live right. Hallelujah. Because see those that don't want to live right, they don't want to hear that. I don't care what Brother Blackwell said in the poor pit. You my wife. You're going to do what I say. Hallelujah. You keep playing with the Father, you ain't going to be doing it. Hallelujah. See, my Heavenly Father got a way of breaking us down when we need to be broke down. For those that are disobedient. Hmm? He, he's saying, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to lead you in the right direction. Hallelujah. That's if you want it. Hallelujah. That's why women, you got to be careful. Who you yoke yourself up with. Hallelujah. Because if we were to follow again, if we were to follow the scripture, we wouldn't have been out there looking for a man. Hallelujah. The scripture says, when a man, oh, I ain't had to finish that. Them women, no help. Hmm? He got to be looking, Brother Jack. Not the woman looking. You know, everything now, it seems like everything the father put in play, the devil reversed. Hmm? And I look at these young girls, I ain't calling no women, but these young girls today, they like it like that. They're out there working. He's sitting at home or by somebody else's house or with somebody else. All right, sister. So we'll, I'll be right back. Oh, we'll do it. You understand? But we need to know what the scripture is teaching us so we will not go out and mess up. Hallelujah. Because situations that we are in today, we put ourselves there. Yes, sir. Yeah. And we know better. But then our heart is broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Again. 